to my novel self, mm-hmm. whoever had invaded my Kush. You know. <laughs> Let me take you back. Let me take you oh back. God. I got the first story. So this is what is happening. We've done this story uh, quite a number of times on the show, and this is in regards to Babu Owino and DJ Volv. You remember the incident that happened at B Club, where um, DJ Volv used to play and DJ Izomagizawa to Sikusako. So he got shot, and he's been in hospital for quite a long time, and he was dis- discharged, and he went home. So they were having an interview with a certain um, TV station. And in the interview, the mom was talking about the fact that she was seeing online that people are writing she's talked to, I don't know, media guys. I don't know, she's said what and what. But in the real sense, this was actually her first time to talk about the incident. And it's so sad because DJ Volv, you know, is like, he was so sad when he, th- he was talking about it because he was saying his hands cannot move and he uses his hands to make a living. And... He's gone through trauma because all the times he's trying to sleep, like he just reflects back on what happened that night. So he has to use sleeping pills to get into, to, to go to sleep. But we do have a video, so let's take a look first. How are you feeling now? You're doing better. Okay. Right now you're able to move your hands a bit. So um, he's not able to speak properly because he has a tube like which is helping him in the breathing to clear his air, air, air space. And uh, that's his situation. The mom like had to stop what she was doing so that she could take care of him. And it's just so sad. But, you know, netizens, you know, once the story came out and, you know, we had too many sides of this story and there was a lot of things being said on Twitter. I'm not going to read the anger and the way people agitated and... Uh, just a lot of comments someone is like biggie's like babu must have a stone heart to be able to live in peace if babu was in the what camp he'd be at committee in the ruto camp mm. like there's just so much going on i feel like it's very sad that some people are embracing this whole shenani gang shebang thing of you know teaching st- students <laughs> online I as mean, in you can't justify this that was how many so months has it been honestly like so you sad. can't watch that yeah. video without your heart literally breaking. Yeah. And this man is still walking around free. Like, have you seen what you've done to this man? Like, it, honestly, like, I wish those demons haunt, haunt him for the rest of his life. Like, yeah. no one deserves that. No one it's deserves so that. And yeah. you just think, sometimes we, we take for granted the things we do each and every day. Mm. And you might have thought, oh, we're playing around, oh, we are boys, but some actions have repercussions and this is what it has led to this is what it was it, this is what it has come to yeah that he can't move his hands he can't speak properly mm-hmm. and he might never probably be able to walk or you know do what he used to do before just because yeah. of one careless stupid, stupid mistake arrogant or whatever mistakes. it was i know it's so sad because some people online they're like you know what he's been paying the bills I'm like, first, he so wouldn't be paying no bills if he, he wasn't didn't the one shoot him in the first yeah. Oh, my God. So that is so dumb. So if he's paying the you bills, is he able to give me the power to talk back or bro, play yeah. again? And it's been months. It's, it was even before curfew when this yes. happened. Yes. Uh, I mean, like, I, mean, I don't even want to talk about it anymore. I get angry all over again when I...